What's up, YouTube? I'm Biohazard. I'm here with Honeybee, and in today's Beast Coast video, we're going to be looking at uh, different levels of brain power that you need to play some of these characters in Mortal Kombat. Hey guys, E here. You know, I'm really excited to bring on this new product from one of our great sponsors on Beast Coast, Suma Forte. And with me in the chat, I actually have a couple of homies who've actually tried this product out already, the Suma Tape, which is really good for their gaming needs. And they have this transdermal mentholated CBD tape. I've actually been really looking forward to trying this out. Dude, it does feel good though. Before we get into this, we should just, uh, you know, disclaimer, just our opinions out here. Don't hate us too much if we think your, your character or your main is brain dead. That's just what it is. Um, also, we're also judging this based on like mainly online play because that's what we've been doing for the last while. And uh, yeah, so we can get into this and talk about characters that generally you need a, a fair amount of brain power to uh, to actually get wins and stuff like that with, and characters that you could kind of just uh, do whatever you want, and sometimes it just seems to work out. And um, that's kind of like the top and the bottom of our tier list. Here we have our categories, Big Brain, Enlightened, Homo Sapien, Neanderthal, and Brain Dead. So I'm gonna just start out. And we're just gonna Whoa. Put that. We're, just, okay. we're just gonna we're just gonna put it right there. away. We're just gonna throw a Sindel right in the brain. Maybe we'll switch her later on. But for now, let's let's have her just sit here. Let's I mean, let's just have her sit there for a little I, bit. I'm not against it. I think online she is uh really, really annoying. Like not only does she have an absolutely brain dead uh you know advancing move that she can mm -hmm. do, but online her mix ups are just real, real, real and uh real and brain dead and yeah easy to very brain dead and she's like the queen of robbery you know she'll scream kbu anywhere on the screen essentially you know she can just board four up three all over the place it's a pretty brain dead string regardless because it's it's unpunishable it resets her back to neutral whatever she has overheads and lows that she can get combos off of and especially when you're playing online that's going to be pretty frustrating to deal with she has her whip and flip thing that just goes, just like Sindel players just do it. They're like they just do it and then just just catches people and she's pretty brain dead. So we're just gonna we're gonna put there. Um, are I'll, we are we going through any? I thought we we're gonna start with Katana, no? Um, like we could if you want, but like sometimes it's easier to like place them based on where we would like put other characters type of thing, like. If there's anything you're confident in and like where certain characters should be placed, I kind of feel like we should just put them there and then with the rest we can kind of judge based on like where these all are. For okay. example, I'm just going to put Deborah here. I think you need to be pretty big brain to do stuff with her. I don't think anyone's just going to pick her up and just kill people online with her without having like a good amount of like effort required obviously sure. there's bias here like i'm a devora main and whatever but you know buff devora um anything sure. else? uh i mean let's let's go into some characters like sub-zero and jackie okay, uh okay. they're either gonna be neanderthal or absolute brain dead so right. we have to choose uh where they're gonna be going um sub-zero i would kind of lean towards the more brain dead section yeah, the more brain dead section. The more brain dead here. section. Uh, he can you, yeah, like you can get rewarded um, for playing with with your brain shut off still um, by playing sub. I I could see that. I could see that. Yeah, I mean it's all mix ups at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, Jackie, I I think Jackie would be more in the Neanderthal category, where I don't think she's completely brain dead, but there is a lot of stuff about her that's just very silly. Um, the ways the 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 plethora of ways that she can just open up her opponent like even just jump shrapnel whatever jump shot, yeah you know into and then full combos and like you know 40 percent unbreakable whatever it's just there's so much stuff that this character has going for her that's just so like just just do it you know just do whatever just do you want and a lot of times it's kind of kind of work out for you i can kind of like cetrion's also like she's pretty pretty neanderthal like type of especially when you think about her tornado stuff because it's just everything yeah no tornado doubt. i mean everything tornado everything tornado put you back i mean i whatever. mean yeah honestly Cetrion, if she did more damage she would be brain dead 
if yeah. uh it, it, you know it's pretty it's pretty brain dead just doing the exact same strings over and over and over because it's going to armor break and it's going to also restand and it's also going to be safe all the time yeah uh it's pretty brain dead uh but yeah i guess ne neanderthal is all right for her she still has to work a little bit i actually think noob is kind of in this category ish <clears throat> Could be like here or here, but Noob is also kind of the same idea where it's just everything into slide, everything into slide. It's just that side slide isn't safe on block uh, without amping. But Noob is kind of in that same kind of category where you just do this into slide, this into slide, blah, blah, blah. And then you kind of just get it. Obviously there's more to it, but you know, on a base level, especially for a tier list that, you know, at the end of the day, this is just for fun. Like don't take it too seriously. Um, I think he could go there. Um, right. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's go with Kano. Okay. Kano, uh, Kano. Neanderthal or brain dead? Okay. Like here's the thing about Kano. His four was it Ford one that string? The Ford one string, yeah. Yeah, like that Ford one string. It's one of the most brain dead strings. Yeah. It is one of the most brain dead strings in the game because no other character, no other character has an advancing mid that's plus on block that's also hit confirmable into full combos without a flawless blockable gap. Obviously there are some characters in the game that can actually deal with it without having to block it all the time. But if you're one of the many characters that can't do anything about it, you just have to hold that. Like you literally just have to hold that. And to me, that is very stupid, but I don't know if like the rest of the character warrants like just suddenly making it brain dead. What do you think? Um, I, I think, I think, yeah, the one string on its own, absolutely branded, especially if it, uh, jails on a character, they can't duck the spit, obviously. Um, but it is just one string at the end of the day. Um, I think Kano does still have to take some work in order to get the job done. Um, I would probably go with Neanderthal, uh, just given his other tool set. All right. He has. Yeah. All right um who else you want to go through we don't have to like have a huge explanation on everyone or else this will take right. forever right so um collector let's let's go ahead and, and put that boy in big brain you know you got big brain, I mean, big big brain. brain. You, you know you gotta big you gotta really work with this character you know Do you he doesn't really like have button. to work you think i hey there's a lot of a lot of stuff a lot of work you have to put in with collector to figure things out they don't all come easy mm. you know Okay, well, well, you know, like, you're you're the collector player out here, so if you feel like he's a big brain, well, we'll let him be big brain out he's here. He's very big, big brain to me. Okay, all right. Um, what else we got here? Uh, I would say Fujin is actually one of the top tiers that would be either big brain or enlightened. One of those two, I feel like he he's, like, he has some stuff that's, like, super dumb like his like forward three or his back two like those type of moves are pretty stupid but at the same time like he is a lot more high execution like he's also uh one of those characters where wave dashing is pretty important and you can't be super brain dead if you're wave dashing around and stuff like that um i think and, uh, is a good spot for him yeah enlightened yeah. Uh, yeah, because he does have uh, some really annoying tools that really don't require much risk at all and, and are pretty easy for him to use. But at the end of the day, I do think you have to put a decent amount of effort in with this character before you can start seeing some solid results. So, enlightened. Um, Cabal is pretty brain dead ish, Neanderthal ish. He's very Neanderthal ish, actually. Yeah. I think he's, he's, yeah. Like, the slight gas jumping around and stuff, like, you know, that is pretty dumb. It's pretty honestly dumb. one of the most brain dead things. It is. It is. <laughs> um, so why aren't we putting in brain dead, then? I think he should probably just go to brain dead. Alright. There you go. <laughs> You're brain dead. Um, what else we got out here? I think Cassie is is pretty homo sapient she's about the fairest character that you, you know have. she i would say yeah she's pretty fair she's pretty balanced obviously she has some great stuff about her but at the same time i don't think she has any like super dirt that just you know you can just cheese people out that much like i feel like if you lose to a cassie you're probably not gonna be that mad about it you know it's like Fair okay enough. you know she got me she got me type Did of thing uh so yeah homo sapien out there um 
I think uh, Rain is like up here, maybe as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, you, you're not going into a, a match against a Rain player, and you know they're they're doing the exact same thing over and over because it just yeah. works. Yeah, like they got to be a little bit smarter. You know, they got to use more of their brain power out here. He's also one of them wave dashing characters and stuff. I don't think he has anything too like like BS that that makes him like annoying like that. I, I mean, the thing a, that's annoying about brain. about him is his mix ups can be really annoying because they're completely safe. Uh, with like the I'll, low tidal wave with the low wave. and yeah, the overhead. I mean, there's options around it because you could either floss block the overhead or you could um, interrupt the low before it comes out uh, with some characters. But um, I mean, that's that's the extent of like how annoying he really gets with those right. moves. So um, yeah, probably maybe just because of that, maybe I'd put him in the enlightened. But I mean, big brain makes sense. Either one makes sense. You know, around there, around there. Um, okay, let's go with some other characters out here. What do you think of Liu Kang? Uh, Liu Kang, definitely not brain dead. Um, I don't want to say he's not Neanderthal. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I don't know. That's a, that's a tough one. Uh, like Liu Kang, you are going to see a lot of the same pressure out of him, you are going to see the same mid buttons, the same one, two stuff, uh, you know, lots of throws. Uh, but at the same time, I think, I feel like sometimes you just, you, you do have to use your brain. You have to know the frame data and stuff like that. Maybe, is he homo sapien? We could do it. We could put him there. There's no rule that we can't. All right, we're, we're putting sapien. him right in the middle there. I actually kind of feel like Garrus is kind of like here-ish as well. Yeah. Um, if, if if you have anything uh if, if to to say otherwise let me know um, um yeah i mean i think i think garris is pretty pretty in the middle as well he's not he's not doing i think, I think johnny's much. kind of like around there too ish me you know something like that yeah. maybe yeah let's see that um, I, i'm trying to look at the who we got left and see if anybody is like really like joker is definitely in like either ne neanderthal or brain dead uh maybe not brain dead but neanderthal for sure like all of his strings especially and like, in the box. yeah like the thing is like he doesn't even have to hit confirm anything like he just does anything into the punching gloves and like the vast majority of the cast can't do anything can't you can't punish, punish it yeah. so like that right there has to make him at least a neanderthal like it's pretty stupid. Obviously, like you're not always going to be using that move, but we're going to base it off of generally what the most used variations are. Um, so yeah, he's probably at least there. Like, yeah, he's at least there. I definitely um, that. Terminator. No, about Terminator. Terminator. Honestly. honestly, I feel like you got to either be big, big brain or enlightened to play Terminator. You think so? At a high level. Yeah absolutely like absolutely. it's not it's not easy to play that neutral game when all you have is like a slow shotgun and you're running okay you know running okay. man teleport is is pretty good but still at the same time um spawn is probably kind of here-ish he's very uh he's very like three four three four string very three four string. <laughs> you know heavy. like use a three four yeah, three string. four throw out the projectiles like what what can people do yeah. about that really? it, it pretty pretty straightforward game plan Mm -hmm. When I when I'm looking at this list, I see like Jax. A Jax is a character that I think is pretty big brain to actually yeah. work at a high level. Um, you, you really uh, like out of all these characters, I think that Jax is probably one of the characters you have to really like go deep with uh, and and really understand how um, you know his his power up ability works and 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 making sure everything kind of flows together. And obviously the, his best damage is coming out of KB, so he's not really getting like too much damage outside of that as well. Okay, okay. That's that's fair. Do you think Rambo's here too? Rambo is definitely big brain character. <laughs> yeah, definitely big brain? <laughs> definitely big brain. Okay. Not easy to win at all. Okay. Um, I think Melina's maybe might be around Enlightened-ish, where like um, you could just kind of sit back and just throw size with her. And like that could potentially work, but you also need to, you have to play the matchup generally kind of smart sometimes. You don't have a great mid that you can work with half the time. Um, so you do have to like rely on like 
dashing into buttons a lot of times to try to get some extra distance there. Um, sometimes you can be kind of dumb with her with like ball rolls and stuff, but that's not always going to work really, and you can get punished. So, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that's definitely why she's not in the end. So, I mean, the yeah. ball roll was safe, and she could just do it. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, but I think it uh, is around uh, there. It's a struggle. It's a struggle for her. Um, what do you think about it? any other characters like jump out at you in terms of where they go? I feel like Scarlet. She has to be up here or here somewhere. Scarlet for sure. Um. I'm gonna go with. I mean, I mean, I don't think you need to be super big brain to play Scarlet. Honestly, no. she, yeah. you'd probably be in like like she she doesn't have anything that's too crazy that you really have to understand either. Uh, she's got a very straightforward zoning game, uh, straightforward long range normals, but that's true. yeah, you just can't abuse anything that she has. So and nine, I think is is good. Um, Frost, I think, is I they're gonna be big brainer and lightning as well. Uh, definitely, like some of, some of the things that Frost has, uh, some of the customs she has with uh, you know, setting up those ice traps and stuff that requires a lot of uh, knowledge of those situations. Um, at the same time, she can kind of do the ice dive and stuff, and and that is kind of dumb, that is kind of dumb, but it's not like the worst, like. It's not like you're gonna find every frost is doing that all the time. You know, there's there's ways to blow it up as well if, uh, and false block, but you know. Mm -hmm. So where do you think she she belongs? Maybe enlightened is fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think Robocop is actually for me. I, I'm kind of thinking in this area, the Homo sapien area, where the like Homo sapien area. You can you could just pew pew with them, right? You could just zone zone zone. You can also just command grab. Whatever, I mean, it de but... with Robocop, it absolutely just depends on like the matchups as well. Like what yeah. what you're fighting. Like if you're gonna fight a Baraka, he's gonna be brain dead as hell uh, <laughs> of, of a character to fight. It's just like zoning, zoning, zoning. Um, but if you're finding other other characters uh, are getting around that zoning, you're gonna have to really change it up because Robocop obviously does revolve around that zoning quite a bit. Yeah. So I mean, I I, I would say yeah, Homo sapien. You gotta. You gotta be, you gotta use that human knowledge to know when to do the right thing. The robot is in the Homo sapien category. That's there you funny. Go. Uh, what other characters? What about Baraka? What do you think Baraka's is? Baraka. Let's see. Baraka's tough because Baraka against characters that don't zone him out, he can be uh, Neanderthal. Absolutely. He can be. He especially, can be very like, Neanderthal. Dude, especially with like the way his corner pressure is and stuff, you just like. You just do stuff with him. It's just like four, two, one, or whatever. Uh, spine burst. Uh, down three, spine burst. Uh, it's just like, I don't know. Sometimes his pressure, it just feels like super stupid to me. Like, <laughs> like almost brain dead. Even I almost, I almost feel like it's just right to throw him in the end of all. <laughs> Can be, yeah. But also, um, that's that's coming from a different perspective of Baraka, obviously. Um, you know, all Baraka players, they don't use the same kind of tools I use. Maybe they go with the gutted, um, in which case it's not going to be as Neanderthal. But at the same time, if we look at Baraka as a whole, he can be this character. So I'm fine with Neanderthal. Okay. And what about Nightwolf? Nightwolf would not be Neanderthal or Braindead. Um... He would probably be either Homo sapien or enlightened because yes, online his his mix up of the overhead is pretty annoying to deal with, and he mm -hmm. can easily hit confirm into it. Um, so I'm gonna go with Homo sapien on Nightwolf. Okay, okay. Only got a couple left out here. Um, sometimes I feel Jade. I don't know about Jade. Sometimes, honestly, I... Jade Jade's one of those characters that can literally be anywhere. It, it like Jade's one of those characters that it really does depend on like, like. It depends on the player. Who's playing her? Cause like I can see some of the most brain dead Jades out there, man, and they're just down to in for their life, shadow kicking and throwing glaives at you. But you know, at a higher level, sometimes they can be kind of smart out here. You know. Okay. Sometimes... Well, I mean, this tier list is based on high level play, online. Yeah. Does Jade get the job done by just doing down twos and kicks and whatnot? No, she right. doesn't. Homo sapien? So, or... I would say, yeah, pro well, 
here's the thing either homo sapien or enlightened because um you know pro she's probably one of the worst characters at coming back uh, on, on the opponent when she is down you would really have to make some kind of a play uh to to make it out of that and that does happen quite a bit as well okay are there any characters here like is she, like okay shao khan like where is he Cause... shao khan has to be the biggest brain you think so you think he has to be big brain i mean uh... i mean people like you're not winning with shao khan in this game if you're not being a big brain player you think so i, I don't I know think he, i think like... i think just the just the fact that his mix-ups revolve around knowing what the opponent is going to be doing that's, like that's you have to play a big brain game that's true that's true like he does have to make certain reads sometimes mm -hmm. on, like, on those false, like, a false and block and stuff like that so that's fair that's fair it's just that like his damage output is just it's so good and like his reward sometimes i feel for just being risky can be very good so like to me that doesn't feel like super big brain that's the thing. But, like, at, but at the same time, get rewarded for being dumb. Like true, that. But let's look at his mid. His, his his mid string is honestly not that good, and he has to play around this kind of like this this yeah the, the whole mid string and I don't know personally I just think All right he's we'll, definitely we'll, a big brain. We'll put Shao Kahn there then. Um, is there anyone else here that you think would be in the big brain category? in the big brain category uh i think well okay let's see scorpion is either is probably going to be like enlightened let's be honest he's probably going to be enlightened um, sometimes i feel she was brain dead honestly especially like if her stomp was still as it was 100 000, oh yeah absolutely she would be brain dead but it's like even without it sometimes i just feel like you know she just goes for like these you know uh, into overhead into into low scoop into like you know, it's just, it, 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 that also, to me, it feels like pretty brain dead. Like, I could be sitting, like, in a coma and still playing this character or something. I, I don't disagree with that, but because her stomp isn't as good as, as it is, and because, uh, you know, in general, she does struggle with her, her poke game, she's got very stubby normals and stuff like that, I would choose to play her in Neanderthal. All right. We'll put her there then. All right, we only have a couple left. Um, where should we put these guys? Aaron Black. I think yeah. he's kind of Homo Sapien like like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, the back two string is still very Neanderthal to me. The back two string, yeah. like it is, but then at the same time, it it can still. Hmm. That's a fair point. Like doing the back, especially back two into like peacemaker the back stuff. Back two, that he the, has low now. Shots, yeah, the low just, shots. Yeah, Let me just mix, and it's completely safe. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, that is pretty dumb. That is pretty dumb. Um, but uh, but like yeah, I can see Homo sapien at the same time. Like Aaron Black still has to has to work to to get it to get get the job done. I would also I think Raiden might be in this area too. Okay. Of, uh, yeah. That's solid. I don't disagree with that. Yeah. Uh, and then we have these five. We have Kotal. Kotal Sonya, Kotal. I think, would probably be, like, up here-ish. You know, she yeah, does have yeah. to deal with mainly just having uh, which, Bad beds and all. You know, so I mean, there's that. Not, there's not that. the greatest She has great zoning and whatever, but, you know. Uh, um, Kotal. Kotal. Like, Kotal's interesting because, like, he doesn't have um, a quick mid, but, like, he does have a half-screen mid that's 19 frames. He does, um, ha does have that. He does have like, a mid-command grab. He has, he has a mid-command grab. He has, yep. and, like, he can always kind of reset neutral a lot by, with the Grand Discus if you have that a bit, uh, equipped and whatever, and just 4-2 string from half-string into that and amp it, and now you're back to, like, neutral again type of thing. Um... You know, I think I think it's I, I'd be fine with Kotal going in the Neanderthal section. Yeah. OK. And then what else we got? Katana, I feel like Katana, you probably have to have to. Uh, I don't know. She can float around. It's really hard to to put Katana in a in a in a, in a proper spot. She's obviously not brain dead. She's, I I don't think she's Neanderthal either. Um, 
a homo sapien or enlightened probably enlightened is it enlightened or big brain like if you okay i guess maybe i maybe maybe with the way she is now remember what, like highborn highborn katana was brain oh highborn was dumb. highborn katana was like right there like it was literally everything into you know everything into that i was like oh my god this is the stupidest character i've ever seen but like no one really uses highborn anymore so based on like how they people do play her now and stuff like yeah she might be more more here-ish because mm -hmm. i think they did nerf stuff about highborn that made it good before um and then we got kung lao and yeah, shang kung lao and shang song so shang song um probably gonna go in either homo sapien or enlightened I think maybe, Almost maybe there -ish. Kung Lao is like, the Buzzsaw is pretty brain dead. Honestly, like doing anything into Buzzsaw is generally kind of brain dead to me. Also doing anything into the uh, Orbiting Hat and getting like free combos off of that too. Mm -hmm. It's kind of brain dead to me. Um, I, I think I think people don't talk about that enough with Kung Lao. Just like that he is one of the only characters that you have to fear his poke at all times because you can get comboed if you decide to take your turn. Obviously, that's only if he's using that move. But it's like for Kung Lao, it's like he has two variations, essentially, that people use. It's either using Buzzsaw or using Orbiting Hat. And it's like Orbiting Hat is pretty stupid because it'll... It, you have to, yeah, you have to be scared that he's going to just cancel into that. So sometimes that allows him just to just steal extra turns. It allows him to just kind of machine gun like down threes sometimes and then come in, in with the one twos and whatever. And then auto shimmy, whatever, get combos, blah, blah, blah. Right. And then with the buzzsaw, it's like he does whatever. And then he just puts this buzzsaw out and then you got to hold that because some characters can't get through that in any way. And then he amps that and now he gets to come in for more pressure type of thing so i mean for, I most characters like at least have some kind of option but it's just like they have to really think about it and know if they're either gonna let it go or if they're gonna try to amp it or what exactly but yeah i know i know exactly what you mean with that um oh i don't know like the one that i that really annoys me is <laughs> All right, go on, I, go on. I I think well okay yeah the one that annoys me obviously is like the orbiting hat because that's when I feel like he can really get a bit brain dead is when people are just respecting him and he gets to like yeah machine in the down threes go with these throws off of like negative uh, negative pokes and all that kind of stuff just kind of do whatever um but at the same time as it is Kung Lao he I don't I don't think he's nearly as brain dead as Sindel Sub Zero and Cabal. So I would go with Neanderthal on that, on that basis. I, I, these three characters are in a special place by themselves. I don't think Kung Lao is yeah. supposed to you, be You think no other character is as brain dead as those three? Um, I, the, honestly, the only, the only other character that people will really fight us on is Jackie. You think? Uh, or Jackie or Cetrion, actually. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's like looking at some of these characters, part of me actually thinks maybe Cetrion does belong here actually yeah like I, mean, I feel like she's I, I think she's probably more brain dead than like spawn i think she's I mean, more if, brain if dead you, than come on let, how can we even compare session to uh, being as neanderthal as saber rocket it's, it just yeah. doesn't happen all right so like let's let's put session here then should we just and... throw jackie down in there too then right. put jackie yeah. there too damn <laughs> all right all right there you go there you go there, guys there you go that's the tier list. Jackie and Cetrion, they didn't get saved. They're down in the bottom two. Uh, you, yeah, we, we were thinking about making them Neanderthal, but you know what? Those, those bitches are brain dead. So that's the tier list. Let us know in the comments. What are your thoughts? Are there characters that you guys think are big brain or brain dead that aren't there? Feel free to say that in the comments below. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content. See you guys in the next one.